Now, right off the bat, I have to thank Mr. Amazing for being so awesome to us and just being such a massive supporter and doing so much for us. Uh, it blows my mind still that he's done so much for us and been so incredible to us on our channel. Um, he's definitely gave us a huge advantage with our channel by giving us so much content and so many amazing knives. And then aside from the channel, aside from all of that, we love knives. So to be able to hold an experience and then own, own some of the most amazing knives on the planet, that's incredible. It's so incredible. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara's busy. And this is the Demco AD15. Now, this is the custom one, but it doesn't matter because it's so similar to the production one from Cold Steel that, you know, you, I, you know, by reviewing this, I'm basically reviewing the production one as well. They're very, very similar. This one just happens to be made by Demco himself. Now, the there is a lightweight version out that you can, as of right now when I'm dropping this video, you can get it Knife Center. So, and they're very cheap. They come in OS 10, and I think they're like a hundred and. $30, $120, something like that, or less. Awesome, awesome deal. OS 10 is a very good steal, and it's a lightweight version. I think they're using like FRN, but still, you're getting basically the same knife just in a lighter weight package and for a, a heck of a price because the, the cold steel ones were over $200. This one's going to be a bit pricier, the one made by Demco. These things are pretty awesome. Let's get into it. So this one is in 20 CV, beautiful stone washing, drop point blade, flat ground, nice thick blade stock because this is going to be a harder use knife. And now this one's the Joker edition with the green and purple titanium this one's in titanium as well the cold steel one is in a, it has an aluminum uh you know lock with a steel lock bar but you know the actual bar itself and it's very unique very very unique now you you add strength to this thing when it's in your hand because this being the lock that falls into that groove right there when you're holding it you're putting more pressure on it so it almost can't fail when you're squeezing it i'm um, not saying it's gonna fail because it is a very very strong lock also a very comfortable knife in the hand now really quick let's check out some size comparisons and then we'll talk about cutting blade length is three and three quarters eight and a half inches overall and here is the demco 80 20 they are the exact same and here is spider go shaman close but the the ad 15 is a little bit longer Spartan Harsey is a little bit longer. And I think that's good for size comparisons. I don't think we we understand it's a large knife. So the way this works, the way the lock works, is there's a spring inside here. And that spring is creating tension on this part. It's creating tension on this bar, holding it this way. Now when you use the thumb studs and you start pulling it out that's creating the detent it kind of feels similar to a back lock a little bit not really but just a little tiny bit at least on the first part of the opening but once you get it passed right there it gets very very smooth and then you see it travel around now the lock bar this is all titanium back here but this stop pin right here is going to fall into that groove 
and the spring is creating tension, you know, pushing this bar this way. So when you unlock it, you're pulling that spring, you're pressing that spring and compressing it right here. And you can even see when I move the, the lock bar that the back spacer back here, this part right here moves. No, let me just open it. You can see it moving. And even right here, you see it moving. Put my arms around the camera. You can see it moving because that's pressing in on that spring, which this action is really good. It's very fun, very fidgety, and it's left or right handed. And they did give you, because it's going to be the exact same in both hands. Um, so regardless if you're right or left-handed, and the clip is reversible as well. So completely ambidextrous, ambidextrous knife. <laughs> the thumb studs are very grippy as well and work very well. Now to unlock it, you got to pull this bar back. So you can rush. This is the way I do it. I rest my thumb basically right here. And I take this finger and I snag this side, this corner right here on the other side, right here. I snag it and I yank it back. And then give it a little momentum forward. Now you can hold it up higher. Give, it, give yourself a little more leverage. You can also just pinch it and push the back of the blade and kind of swing it forward. That works too. So you're just basically pinching, because if you pinch this lock and push the back of the blade, it's going to go forward. Now, you don't want to let your finger go too far back in behind here, because the blade is going to come and close in right there. So you don't put your finger in here. You just use the sides. And as long as you're using the sides, you are perfectly safe. That's the way I use it, and it works really good. Very, very smooth, and the, the action's very addicting because it is very, very fidgety. You can reverse flick it, but it's a little tougher because your, your hand is kind of pushing on the back of the, the lock bar, but you can do it. And you can even grab it, pull it back, and swing the action out if you're not under a camera. So there's lots of ways to do it. I like the conventional thumb stud and then bam, like that. But you can do it with the swing. I'm under the camera, but you can do it very easily. Very, very nice. Now cutting with this thing, this thing, <laughs> for a thick hard use knife, it cuts very, very well. The taper of the the thick flat grind is it's good it's just they they it is a hard juice knife so it's not going to be that mega slicer it's going to be a great cutting hard use knife so because of the you know how tall it is and their slow taper it does cut very very well super comfortable in the hand which is adding to the cutting performance as well because you have so much leverage behind your cut you can get up nice and close to the blade if you want to with this choil but the blade going through materials it passes through very well not only did the factory or demco sent you know do a fantastic factory edge on it um and it's held up very well. I haven't sharpened it yet. It hasn't needed it. It cuts so good. It just cuts and you know very well. You feel like you have a lot of control in the handle, and the, the blade just blazes through materials. Very, very happy with the way it cuts, especially for such a thick knife and a harder use knife. Now, utility cuts, it's not gonna be the best. It does have a thick tip. And it's more for strength, the tip, more than precision cutting. 
you can do it though um you do have a lot of leverage in the handle and the grips you know you have a lot of comfortable grips but it'll get you by you know if you do need to do one or two utility cuts in your cutting day or whatever you want to call it it'll work just fine it's just not going to be the best one there's going to be a lot of knives that just do utility cuts better it's not really that kind of knife more of a, a camping work um hard use you know knife you know more than your precision utility cutting knife now the jimping on the spine does work it is um they are spread apart they feel like they're more for gloves than anything nice grip on the scales so the g10 does feel very comfortable in the hand and everything feels comfortable even though you see like you have all these parts that doesn't stop it from being very comfortable it just have your hands just happen to wrap around all the comfortable areas you know even if you do use this choil or get up nice and close for push cuts they're all very comfortable um i slightly feel the clip but barely now the clip does work very well in and out of the pocket. No real complaints about how the clip works. My one complaint is, is just how low it sits. It's, you have a lot, quite a bit hanging out of your pocket. Yes, that's going to give you something to grab onto and pull out of your pocket. I don't necessarily care if a clip is deep or, you know, not deep carry, but I rather have it, you know, not too much hanging out of my pocket and in this case you do have quite a bit hanging out of the pocket but the clip works great it does not you know no issue really sometimes the thumb studs do snag coming out of the pocket a little bit just kind of depending on how you take it out but all in all good clip works great and this one is a steel clip now, he will give you a titanium clip if you want it, but he says that the steel clips work better and are, night, are a little bit stronger or something like that. I, I forget exactly what he said about it, but he said through his testing that the steel clips were a little bit better for the spring clips. Now, you'll notice when, you know, we were or when we do the action, you can actually see this part back here moves a little bit when you open the knife so that's the spring on this bar right here it's all titanium well not all it does have the steel stop pin and the pins but you can even see it back here move a little bit kind of shifts so that's the spring in there holding the tension on this bar and it works really good nice big hardware you can see the demco and you know where he's from nice big hardware nice big lanyard tube if you did want to put a lanyard tube on there or lanyard lanyard if you did want to put a lanyard in the lanyard tube but yeah all in all man awesome awesome knife it is going to be a a bit of a like i said a harder to use work knife style or work style knife you know camping knife hunting knife uh something like that now you do want to be careful not to let stuff get all up inside here, but it's very easy to clean out because you can just get to everything so easily. It's very easy to take a Q-tip and run it through or a rag or something like that. It does have big phosphor bronze washers. If I think you can see them actually. Where do you see them at? I know there's a place where, oh yeah, right back here. You can see them right back there. So it does have nice big phosphor bronze washers, which are very, very smooth. And it has a nice acoustic sound to it. Oh, 
I love the way this thing sounds. I love the way this one sounds. Um, but yeah, I do like this knife an awful, awful lot. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's very, very awesome. And it's unique. Now, Demco invents so many amazing locks and I love that. He's the one that's, that made the triad lock. He made the shark lock, you know, this lock. He's done so many locks. I love it. I love seeing new stuff. I love seeing innovative things. And yeah, he just, yeah, I like Demco stuff. These thumb studs are very grippy and very useful. I really like his thumb studs, man. He does great, great thumb studs. Now, if I was going to complain about anything, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to. Because this is so innovative and so awesome. I, you know, there's really nothing to really complain about. I mean, I could say that I wish the clip was up a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. You know, I don't care about a lanyard tube, but, you know... I really have no complaints because is it a perfect knife? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's innovative. It's awesome. It's tough and it's so well done and it's cool, man. I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I have no complaints really. Even the choil is done pretty good. Um, I mean, the plunge grind is right there. So they did give you quite a bit of sharpenings before it really hits the plunge so you know all in all just really cool great job demco um but yeah like i said if you want to get these and you don't have the money for the custom you can get the production ones if you can find them and then they have the lightweight ones that just came out for like 130 dollars or something like something like that but there you guys go i love you guys thanks for watching mr amazing thank you so much man I love you guys. Peace.